Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Hi, my name is Sharonica and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> That was very good. Let's 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 do just maybe one or two more, okay? okay. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? First things first, I have to say, you know, this meeting that took place between Vasil Lomachenko and Mikey Garcia, it was one of the most interesting meetings between two fighters I've seen in quite some time, especially when it comes to a possible potential fight in the future between the two. It was just a really, really interesting meeting because Vasil Lomachenko is so gifted. He's so talented. He's pound for pound, top three, one of the best fighters in the world. He's extremely intelligent inside the ring, and it shows. And the fact that he can actually critique a future possible opponent like Mikey Garcia and talk about Mikey Garcia's flaws right in front of Mikey Garcia is really, really impressive. And he didn't do it in a disrespectful way at all. But he broke it down to Mikey Garcia like Teddy Atlas would do before a fight. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and quote what Lomachenko, well, this is what Lomachenko had to say right after Mikey Garcia beat Adrian Broner. And then I'll go ahead and tell you guys what he said when he was right in front of Mikey Garcia. And matter of fact, this clip that you guys are looking at right here. But let's uh, first start with the first uh, thing that he said right after the Broner fight. Okay, quote, I didn't see anything in that fight to suggest that he's a class A outstanding fighter. Yes, he won the fight. Yes, he did everything to win the fight. But I haven't seen anything outstanding. I haven't seen a class A fighter. I almost fell asleep. End quote. Okay, so that's once again what he said to reporters right after Mikey Garcia beat Adrian Broner. Now, when they set up this meeting right here, where you see Lomachenko and Mikey Garcia standing next to each other, a reporter asked Lomachenko, what did you think about Mikey Garcia's performance? And he said right in front of Mikey Garcia, he said, he looks slow to me. This is pretty much what he said. He said, he said, sorry, Mikey, but yeah, he looked slow. He said, basically, it looked like Mikey was only trying to land a knockout punch. And to probably many people's surprise, Mikey Garcia pretty much agreed with Lomachenko's assessment. And Mikey said, well, yeah, you know, we were trying to show him that we had power in those first couple of rounds. And then later on, we went back to boxing and later on in the fight. But it was a very interesting exchange with Lomachenko saying these things about Mikey and how Mikey reacted to what he had to say. So before Lomachenko was right in front of Mikey, he said he wasn't impressed at all. He said Mikey Garcia is not a class A fighter, right? And then he says in front of him that he was slow. So he's still basically saying in a nice way, he's saying to Mikey, I wasn't impressed with your performance. You know, what's really, really unfortunate for Mikey Garcia in this situation is this is Mikey Garcia's biggest win. But whenever I talk as a reporter, almost every single person I talk to, they talk more about Adrian Broner not showing up and him not putting him not basically fighting at all, as opposed to talking about Mikey Garcia putting on a great performance. For example, when I talked to trainer Abel Sanchez, Golovkin's trainer, when I talked to him, he actually said in the interview that, you know, he talked to a lot of people in the gym and he pretty much agrees with their assessment when he says that, you know, it wasn't so much of Mikey Garcia winning, it was more of Adrian Broner losing and not doing anything in the fight. This is what Abel Sanchez said. And then, so you go from Abel Sanchez saying that to hearing Vasil Lomachenko say he wasn't impressed at all and he's not a class A fighter and he looks slow and this and that. And every other person I interview, once again, everyone is really just talking about Adrian Broner not showing up to the party, right? Something else that's important to note 
is when it comes to Vasil Lomachenko, as great of a fighter as Vasil Lomachenko is, notice he's never said any of these things about Guillermo Rigondeau. He's never said any of these things about Terrence Crawford. After any of their performances, he has never talked about their flaws or said that they weren't class A fighters. He praised those guys, when, it's, especially Terrence Crawford. He praised those guys when it comes to their talent. It's only Mikey Garcia that he's criticizing and saying, this guy is not a class A fighter. But not only is he saying it, he's giving demonstrations right in front of Mikey Garcia. So clearly out of all of the top-notch fighters around Vasil Lomachenko, he sees Mikey Garcia as the weakest link. But credit to Mikey Garcia because Mikey Garcia is aggressively calling out Lomachenko. Matter of fact, if it was up to Mikey Garcia, he would have the Lomachenko fight next. So credit to him. I don't know if that's the best idea though because that would be an extremely difficult fight for Mikey Garcia to win. Mikey Garcia is a very good fighter, but Lomachenko is just on a whole nother level as far as I'm concerned. But I truly believe that Team Garcia, they feel that whatever they don't have that Loma has, they can make up for it with their natural size and power. And I believe Mikey even said that to me, you know, he hasn't really dealt with real power at the lightweight division. He said something like on the lines of that, I'm paraphrasing, but I, I think that's how Team Garcia, they see it. And it would be interesting to see how Lomachenko de deals with that type of power moving up and weight, because I, I tell you guys all the time, you know, a lot of these fighters, they can afford to make more mistakes in the smaller weight classes but the more you move up in weight the least mistakes you're allowed to make this is the reason why floyd mayweather is such a special fighter because he can go in the ring with guys that are 20 pounds bigger than him 15 14 years younger than him way stronger than him and floyd can even back them up at times and dominate them because floyd is not going to make too many mistakes but when you have a fighter like Roman Gonzalez who moves up in weight, a guy who beats people with his aggression and his power, and usually if he does get hit, it's okay because eventually he'll catch up with you and his power will make up for any of his flaws when it comes to his defense, and then eventually he will knock you out. But when he moves up in weight, he can no longer just rely on having a size or power advantage. Now your skills have to be better now you can't afford to make as many mistakes as you made before and that's why we now see roman gonzalez struggling against the majority of his opponents because they can take his power now so before roman gonzalez his power could be better than his defense his power could even be better than his skill set but now it's the other way around now Roman Gonzalez's defense has to be better than his power or his opponent's power. His skill set has to be better. So when it comes to Vasil Lomachenko, he already has an enormous amount of skill. He's pound for pound one of the best fighters in the world, but we do have to see how he's going to deal with much bigger fighters as he continues to move up in weight. How many mistakes is he going to make? And is that second or third mistake going to cost him? And that's what Mikey Garcia wants to find out as well. So we'll see what happens in the future. Once again, if it was up to Mikey, that would be his next opponent. Uh, Lomachenko, he did say he has to think about who he's going to fight at 130 before he moves up. He said if he's not, if there's no one else at 130 to fight, then he will most likely move up to 135 and take on Mikey Garcia. Let's see what happens in the Mariaga fight. It would seem to be an extremely easy fight for uh, Vasil Lomachenko because Styles make fights, and we know that Mariaga is aggressive, is an aggressive come-forward fighter. So that's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.